Uh, I'll take up first the questions which were raised by our editor of Argus News, that what is a welfare nation and why, how we should look at a welfare nation and where does tourism come into that part of it. I think as a business professor, we teach this to our students that welfare nation has nothing to do with competitiveness. Competitiveness kodiya re prati jogita mula ko pradhanyo bolii kuha jaye. Chun gute welfare nation upar jab ek bhabi be competitiveness sangre tahar kichi samparka nahi. Jo kothada se age college ay ame jethi ke revenue amar asuchi ta kulo kumanu karo mangal pani ame khurcho korche lo kumanu ko bivino prakaro subidha sujog douche. Kuda hygienic factor thay. Hygienic factors, the Saswadina Varo, Dasbarsa, Pondarbarsa, Kodibarsa Vitre, Sasojivagata, Monisamane Sakyam Havagata, Tangor Productivity Bodivagata, Samane Nijanijinsa Kordavagata, Pochas Persa Saturi Bursa Pargento, Sebevastata Riva, Uchitme, Tadesro Mongola Korenahi. Tale Mongola Korea Pehle, Jadi Protijugita Muloko Pradeni upon a Nodi Kive, Talapon Kon the Kiva Darka, Jaku Ingrazirame Productivity Vili Kohuchu. Productivity Deep Rakar Bodiparivo. गोटे प्रकार प्रोडक्टिविटी बढी पारिबो आपण जेत बळे मशीन को यूज करिवे आ कम समय भितरे मशीन प्रोड्यूस करिवो प्रोडक्टिविटी बढिवो द्वितीय पार्ट हला जो लोक माने काम करचंती से मानकर स्किल को जदी बढेबे ताले प्रोडक्टिविटी ता बढिवो जदी आपण देखिबे एई सरकार रो केंद्र सरकार रो गला 5 10 वर्ष रे जो फोकस रही छि सेटा द्वितीय भाग रे फोकस रही छि जे आमे कि प्रे लोक मानकर स्किल को बढे पारिबा लोक मानकर स्किल बढिले जो जेति कि से मानकर श्रम व्यय होतिला कम समय रे कम श्रम व्यय करिके से माने अधिक केमति कर पारिबे कारण यूएलसी बोली जो कांसेप्ट हमर अछि यूनिक लेबर कॉस्ट प्रोडक्टिविटी कॉम्पिटिटिवनेस और यूनिक लेबर कॉस्ट भीतर गुटे रिलेशनशिप अछि एग्जांपल वी कैन टेक एन एग्जांपल लेट्स लुक एट अमेरिका एवरीबॉडी ऑलवेज बेंचमार्क्स विद अमेरिका सो इन अमेरिका द कंट्री इज वेरी प्रोडक्टिव बट नॉट कॉम्पिटिटिव बिकॉज़ द यूनिक लेबर कॉस्ट इज वेरी हाई द कॉस्ट ऑफ हायरिंग एन एम्प्लॉई फॉर अ सर्टेन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इन डॉलर टर्म्स इज वेरी हाई but if you look back to China, which almost we benchmark with China everything, and there are certain components, good or bad, we have overtaken China in that part, you'll find out their ULC is under control because it is a communistic nation. They have controlled their unique labor cost. That's why their productivity is higher. The reason being the competitive, they've been able to be competitive in the world there. So welfare nations are not necessarily competitive nations. And for the first time when you are skilling people, then you understand that by skilling people, you would like to increase the productivity of the nation, though you can provide a support as far as welfare is concerned. You cannot really call yourself a military economy or autocratic systems where you can say there is no welfare required for growth of a nation, particularly a populated nation like India. So it has to be a balance between productivity and competitiveness. And since we are into a multi-party democratic system, you cannot have an ULC other than you are giving them a support. This is the answer to the question. I agree with you, the point that you have raised. The focus of governance strategy should be on increasing the productivity of the people and increasing the scale of the people that we have got there. Let's talk about tourism next. The bahut bahut barsa tale, gude bahire mu padi thili, gude jakhya abhisab pai, indrata ko abhisab dei thile, so jakhya abhisab pai ki prithvi ko asthila. To se asi ki mu IM kori kodre bhi padu thili. That was my second campaign I ran on India tourism when I was working. First I did the work for Kerala tourism and then for India tourism. So, Jokhyo has said that both of us are in the middle of the world. We know that in the middle of the world, we are in the middle of the world. We are in the middle of the world. We are in the middle of the world. So, Jokhyo has said that in the middle of the world, we are in the middle of the world. And we are in the middle of the world. 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 जे भारत रो कोउ कोउ जगह रे कोउ कोउ मंदिर अछि कोउ कोउ देवता पूजा पाउचंती सही से जगह रे से प्रार्थना करछि तुमे वर्षा हे जीव वर्षा हे गेले मोर पाप कम हे जीव त तुमे जितले हिमालय रे पहुंचिबो अब निजर अस्तित्व हरैबो सेते बेलु मोर सब पाप शेष होइ जाइथिबो और मुक्ति मिलि जीव मु स्वर्ग गु जीवि ए उदाहरण दि दबार अर्थ हला जे प्रीडोमिनेंटली इंडियन टूरिज्म इज रिलीजियस टूरिज्म सो इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टुडे let's say leisure tourism, sports tourism, adventure tourism, but by nature, by design, we are religious tourism people. Yara effect ta kete sundar bhavare ajodhya ku grow kar diya gala. Jemti apano cricket re IPL dekhi le, yabhe sinti augut example hela ajodhya. Apano man dekhi thi ve, ajodhya re rama mandi ro pratishtha hela pare au ki chi na hou, real estate price bhoot badi jai chi. Bada bada company mane saiti hotel kholiya pe hi, 
प्लां करूँ से गोटे टूरीजम डेस्टेसन हमारे जा पचर आप इतिहास को तर्जमा कर पड़ो जिते थर आप बाह्य आक्रमण शिकार होती मुझे देवदत्त पट्टनायक सांगे काम कै प्रत्येक ये बस से भी काम कै देवदत्त पट्टनायक सागर जिते थर भारत बाह्य आक्रमण सामना करने आसिक कौन से राज न लुटि ना से आसिक मंदिर लुटिं इविन भारत बर्ष भी जो लुटा लुटी हो तो ओडार लुटा कथा पड़ू किड़शार लुटार अभ्यास भी बहुत पुराणा आपण मैंने जान नए जगन्नाथ देश कथा बहरे मुझे देवदत्त पट्टनायक लिखिचु पूरी मंदिर को लुटि थे जड़े तमिल राजा 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 चोल से आसिक लुटिक नहीं चार थर आक्रमण कर इतिहास केवल गुजरात मंदिर लुटी हो कहती कि इतिहास को पढ़े तेल जानवे गोटे समर काव्य अच्छी से समर काव्य राजा राजा चोल केमती आसिक कलिंग आक्रमण कर पूरी मंदिर को लुंठन कर कहानी लिखाई तादेहर हिंदू राजा हिंदू मंदिर को लुटार कथा कहीं से शिवर भक्त थे आउ जगन्नाथ वैष्णव मान तेणु से जो कनफ्लिक्ट तमिलनाडु थी से आसी तेणु टेम्पल इकोनोमी व्वाज ए की ड्राइवर इन इंडिया एज फार एस ग्रोथ अफ हिस्टोरिकल ग्रोथ अफ टूरीजम इज कनसर्ण सो मोस्ट अफ द सिटीज इन इंडिया हाव ग्रोन बिकज देर आर टेम्पल्स राइट देर आर इन द सब्सिक्वेन्ट पार्ट प्रोबेबली यू विल फाइंड आउट देर आर सिटीज हुई हाव ग्रोन बिकज अफ पलिटिकल रिजन्स मे फर एक्जापल खटक हाज नो रिलीजिययस सेंटिमेंट इनवल्ड इट व्वाज एन इकोनोमिक एंड पलिटिकल डेस्टेसन पॉलिटिकल बिकॉज देर वाज अ पैलेस देयर एंड इकोनॉमिक डेस्टिनेशन बिकॉज देर वाज अ रिवर एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड ट्रेड वाज हैपनिंग इन द रिवर दैट वाई इज वन वन ऑफ द की प्लेसेस फॉर दैट मैटर यू लुक एट बनारस यू लुक एट एलाहाबाद यू लुक एट पुरी ऑल दिज इज प्लेसेस देर आर टेम्पल्स एंड द इकोनॉमिक ग्रीव अराउंड द टेम्पल्स एंड ऑर्गनेशन हैपेन्ड अराउंड द टेम्पल्स ओवर ए पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज ऑफ ब्रिटिश डोमिनियन हियर वी स्टार्टेड नेग्लेक्टिंग आर टेम्पल्स and we thought probably we can build up alternative destination for that matter today in last 10 15 years period of time you think we have i think we have gone back to our roots and you have started looking at that destinations which was most popular destination bharat re hochi kon jetole pilgrimage tourism ra katha ko jauchi if you look at in terms of volume of number of people traveling within the country highest number of people travel for pilgrimage tourism बट पिलिग्रिमेज टूरीजम इज अल लुक आट गरीब लोक बस बसिक जी धर्मशाला रे अल्प पैसा खर्च करेंगे देर इज ए पाराडाइम सिफ्ट हापनिंग डे आर पाराडाइम सिफ्ट रिलीजियस पीपल आर मेकिंग ट्रिप्स इवन टुडे अल्सो इफ यू लुक बैक हाउ मेनी पीपल हाव फ्लोन टू अयोध्या ए लार्ज चंक अफ दोज पीपल आर आईदर अपर क्लास और अपर मिडिल क्लास हुई हाव मुड इन टू सो देर हाज बी ए रिपोजिशनिंग अफ रिलीजिययस टूरीजम इफ दैट हापन्स इन द कंट्री यू कैन आईडेटिफाइ देर वि मल्टीपल डेस्टेसन्स अन् व्विच टूरीजम क्या भी प्रमोटेड because we have a heritage which can be promoted there i teach at a school called uh, bordeaux if you don't know where is bordeaux bordeaux is in south of france so bordeaux is known for the war during second world war 60000 people were killed so when you go find out 60000 coffins of similar size there but bordeaux is also one of the regions of the world for wine tourism best quality of the wine available in bordeaux there so french tourism department has identified specific domain specific tourist destinations and have promoted them in that way if you go to a city of nice which is beautiful as such or to paris which has got monuments versus a city of bordeaux which doesn't have anything but have chateaus then you will identify they have done so what is required from a national tourism planning we need to need to look at regional tourism planning my experience while working at iim lucknow i was just talking to madam that i started my career at iim lucknow post my phd i was given an assignment with urban planning department to decongest tourist destinations this is an antithesis to what we talk today that have more number of people visiting tourist destinations but they wanted to, us to work decongestion of tourist destinations so that people can have smooth flow of transportation that was my first assignment that i handled subsequently when i moved to korikod i did uh, campaign northeast campaign i wrote and then i wrote also kerala campaign for that so what is required let me come to that part and conclude my conversations what is required in this part ame jitole sabu choto thile puri mandir bisaye re shivam ka bisaye re durga ka bisaye re kaha tu sunuthile andhar ratire ama aja ai jeje apa jeje ma se sabu kahani am ko sunuthile ame jitole bado huthile chotala mo mona re ko ichha thila अरे अरे बनारस रे एमती उठला काले से थे मत देखा दरकार आमर फैमिली सिस्टमटा ब्रेक हो द्वारा से कहानी आसन हो पार नहीं 
एपर्यंत से कहानी पासन हो पार नहीं तार समस्या समाधान हो पार आम दुई प्रकार विषय चिंता कर फर्स्ट वी आर थिंकिंग दैट हाउ डू रियली लुक आट फरेन ट्रावेलर्स कमिंग टू इंडिया बट यू अंडरस्टैंड देर आर पीपल हू आर व्विलिंग टू ट्रावेल इन द कंट्री डोमेस्टिक टूरीजम सो इफ यू क्या रियली जेनेट ए गुड डोमेस्टिक टूरीजम स्ट्राटेजी देन प्रोबेबली वी विल मेक मोर मनी फ्रम दैट सिस्टम दैन एक्सपेक्टिंग फरेन टू ट्रावेल टू आवर कंट्री ना हुएर हाव यू फेल्ड इन दैट आप्रोच व्हाई वी कुड नट ट्रांसफर दैट जेनेशन अफ नलेज एंड वेल्थ फ्रम वन जेनेशन टू द अदर जेनेशन टूडे वाई आवर चिलड्रेन आर नट इंटरेस्टेड टू ट्रावेल फर दैट मैटर दे आर हुकिंग अप इन टू दे आर इंटरनेट और यूट्यूब ऑल दो चैनल्स The basic reason being, tourism is not a matter of discussion or matter of subject in the courses which are being taught. I strongly feel, if tourism can be a subject at the school level that can talk to the children, not as part of history, not as a part of geography, but as a subject of tourism, I think there will be an interest among the children to go and know the places, and when they grow up, they can study that part. Further step to that, I have recommended that. Today we have got a credit system. The new national education policy talks about credit system. Why not to give one week two credit to the students? They don't have to sit down in board of secondary educations and appear an exam and pass. But during the course, they should go one week and travel a destination, write down or do the journaling part of it, and explain their experiences about that destination. If that can be done, we can initiate or trigger that method by which people can be interested. Now the third part, third suggestion for me is to look at technology. So how do you really build up experiential uh, technology for that matter? I understand there is something called augmented reality and virtual reality. You may not be at the place, but you can create that part. For example, when I was uh, I was in uh, Beijing and I travelled to the palace. Before I travelled to the palace, they put me into one room, and then they had taken me through. augmented reality the whole of the palace give me a small brief about the palace the reason being most of the guides were chinese and they, i could i don't understand chinese for that matter but it was possible that i could experience and then they gave me a booklet and i could see through so there is something called metaverse i don't know how many of you know that part in metaverse is a digital world which is a combination of virtual reality virtual and the real both of them together if tourism department can focus and create metaverse which can be on the cloud and our children or people those who are interested instead of visiting to the destination at no cost can go and see the place i think there will be desire for people to travel for that matter today i understand that tourism department does exhibitions conventions conferences but these are perishable products once the exhibition is over or the convention is over nobody continues to do that part reinforcement is more important for that behavioral change so it is possible if we can use augmented reality virtual reality and look at metaverse as a method we can work out on that part and the final part it may sound like a bit controversial but final part there are three things for a successful program first part is the propaganda or the communication or communicating the idea to the people which is easy because that comes from a visionary the second part the strategy how to do that part which is a bit more difficult and the third part is execution part of it so it's nice for us to interact on this way but what the tourist takes it back is the experience doesn't matter whether it's a temple experience or to an industrial tour or it goes to a village that experience matters there so somebody definitely will create a vision and our prime minister is a visionary who has done that part but I expect that both public and private people should sit together the ppp was the idea that he was talking about they can work together a strategy a sustainable strategy for that matter and execution is very important and that is where i think skill entrepreneurship and tourism can work together to create an executional plan and they can execute that part uh, recently i was doing some work on the health tech space then i said that let's create an entrepreneur in every panchayat and how many health workers are there and how many amount of money we can generate it was an agonistic business conversation similarly if we can create a tech savvy tourist entrepreneur at a panchayat level who uses a hub and spoke model and does community based tourism i think we can create more number of employment opportunity for the people we should not look up to large investments or large entrepreneurs like mr patnaik for a massive proposition or a potential like tourism 
we should go back and democratize the idea of entrepreneurship and build small time sustainable entrepreneurs because the number of job requirements are very high and no government can really provide those number of jobs on a sustainable period of time. That is why you have to think alternative and look into that part of it because finally that experience is more important. And how do you build that experience? If the experience is bad, all that strategy you have made, all the campaigns that I wrote, all those money which has been spent on television, all are waste. Now, once you democratize the process and train people to build that experience and sustain that experience, then there will be a flow in the process and people will be more interested for traveling. Because as such, by nature, we are nomads. Isn't it? Like all other animals, we are nomads. We, have, we are more intelligent than only other animals because our intestine length is smaller than other animals. I was told that an elephant takes 14 hours for full stomach eating and digestion and we take 5 to 10 minutes for doing that part. Since we have this intelligence and we can utilize this intelligence and look back to an economic system which is sustainable and then we'll be successful there because I understand tourism is a smokeless business and it has the highest potential for creating more number of jobs compared to others because manufacturing or services, either they use machines or they use technical manpower. But tourism, just by changing the mindset, making people or oriented towards their customers, will make it successful. But more important, when you go back, think over this last question of mine. If you are a guest, you are a guest. 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 You are So, the idea of a Western thought like tourist or a guest is not a pure idea. We have to bring back to our Indian ideas of who a guest is or who a bandhu is. The day you have a bandhu, the experience or anubhuti of the bandhu becomes more important for you than anything else. I hope the four or five key points that I have talked about will guide the thinkers, those who are present here, and let's plan it out and promote Orissa tourism and national tourism in a bigger way so that a lot of people travel and see this world because this is only one life that we have got. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. जदि आपन को हम वीडियो टी भल लागिला तबे हम चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करबा को जमा भी बुलंतु नहीं